There's a lot of complications when it comes to the impeachment efforts of the Democrats and the media going into Trump. And so I want to break this down as simply as possible. Any time that a member of the executive branch threatens to withhold huge sums of taxpayer dollars to another country or entity on the condition that they fire a prosecutor that is on paper looking in to their family's business, there should be an investigation. It doesn't matter if that executive branch member is Republican, Democrat, Green Party, Libertarian. It doesn't matter if members of the media and people, officials in foreign countries say that yes, it was okay for that executive branch person to want that prosecutor fired. None of that matters. If an executive branch person threatens to withhold huge sums of U.S. tax dollars to have a prosecutor fired who is looking into their family's business, there needs to be an investigation. If Joe Biden was honest, even if he's innocent, he would say, I understand this looks really bad. I understand that this prosecutor that I wanted fired was also the prosecutor who happened to be tasked with looking into the company my son was on the board of directors for. So I'm innocent. Let there be an investigation. Now, why does this matter? Because, one, the Democrats and the media are fighting tooth and nail to stop the investigation into Biden. And second, that's their reason for impeachment. If there is a legitimate reason to investigate Biden and his quid pro quo, which he admitted to, which amounted to extortion of Ukraine, which he admitted was successful, he threatened to withhold a billion dollars in loan guarantees and other aid unless they fired a prosecutor. That prosecutor happened to be looking into his son's company. That's all true. We know that's all true. If there was reason for an investigation, then there's no case to impeach Trump. The case to impeach Trump is he was just seeking to dig up dirt on Biden and have foreign assets try to dig up dirt on Biden. But if there's a reason to look into that dirt, then it's not a crime or it's not unethical for Trump to do so, which clearly is the case. We can have all sorts of diverse people in this country. I'm all for it. Whatever your religion, your political beliefs, your ideology, all of that's great. But we have to agree on some basic things. One of those needs to be, we need to agree when there is reason to investigate possible corruption. If an executive branch authority using large sums of our tax dollars to force the firing of a prosecutor looking into their family isn't a reason to investigate, we're in a lot of trouble. If you think that there's no need to investigate Biden because you hate Trump so much or because you like the Democrats so much, you need to look in the mirror and do some serious soul searching. Every objective person knows if the names wasn't Biden and Hunter Biden, if it was Don Trump and Don Jr. instead, and Donald Trump in the executive branch threatened to withhold $1 billion of taxpayer money to another country unless they fired a prosecutor looking into his son's company, everybody knows that the media and the Democrats would go insane, demand an investigation immediately, and demand impeachment immediately. We know that's the case. Everyone knows that. Yet for some reason it's different with Biden because, well, the media and the Democrats will tell you, oh, well, people in the EU said it was okay. People with the IMF said it was okay. That is irrelevant. There needs to be an investigation. Trump is right to seek that investigation. The fact that the media and the Democrats don't want that investigation proves their corruption and that they're trying to bury possible corruption. And the last thing I'll say about this is, remember, everybody on the left, well, not everyone, but many people on the left in the Democratic Party and the media said that James Comey needed to be fired, that he was inept or corrupt for what he did announcing the investigation into Hillary before the election. So many people on the right said that Comey was corrupt or inept for all sorts of things and he needed to be fired. We had people in the media, we had politicians on the left and right, all saying Comey should be fired. Rod Rosenstein himself said that Comey should be fired and wrote a letter saying that. Yet despite that, when Trump did fire Comey, did you see the media and the Democrats say, well, everyone said Comey should be fired, so there's no need to investigate? No, they did the opposite. They demanded a two-year investigation from an independent counsel, which was Mueller. 
That's what they demanded when Trump, it wasn't sufficient defense to say, well, all these people said that Trump should fire Comey. All these people said Comey should be fired. It is very simple. Anytime we have an executive branch authority threatening to withhold huge sums of U.S. tax dollars to get a prosecutor fired who happened to be looking into the company his son was on the board of directors, I don't care if it's Republican or Democrat, there should be an investigation. It's really that simple. Anyone who's trying to say, but, 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 is defending corruption. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, please share my videos with other people too. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, today is Friday, so I will be doing a live stream at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So please tune in for that. And thanks everyone and have a good one.